This is but one of the legends of which the people speak. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where a golden power lay hidden. It was a prosperous land, blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. But one day, a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. With its strength at his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But then, when all hope had died, and the hour of doom seemed at hand, a young boy, clothed in green, appeared as if from nowhere. Wielding the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the dark one away and gave the land light. This boy, who traveled through time to save the land, was known as the Hero of Time. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. But then, a day came when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. The great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero. Once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. The people believed that the hero of time would again come to save them. But the hero did not appear. Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. In their last hour, as doom drew nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. On a certain island, it became customary to guard boys in green when they came of age. Clothed in the green of fields, they aspired to find heroic blades and cast down evil. The elders wished only for the youths to know courage, like the hero of legend.
favorite spot to gaze out at the sea. When I play with the gulls, I call it Errol's Lookout. So, you remember what day it is today? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? Big Brother, huh? it's your birthday! That's why Grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? I've been waiting for you, Link. Link? Try these on. Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. Don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is the day to celebrate. It is the day that you become the same age as the young hero spoken of in all the legends. You only have to wear them for one day, so don't look so down. Be proud, child. In the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about swordplay. Hanging the family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those days. Does all this make sense to you? Uh. Isn't that nice, Link? They suit you perfectly. A perfect fit. Well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party, so I'd better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma is going to make your favorite soup for you tonight. Mm. I just know you're looking forward to it. Now, go get your sister, Arrow. Pretty neat, though. So, anyway, Link, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand just for a second? I'm going to give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Happy birthday! Yay! So, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow this special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> Ooh, why don't you try it out right now? Try looking over at a house from here. The postman looks kind of weird, doesn't he?
without something you can use to defend yourself with. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about swordplay. Oh? What is the matter, Link? You have an urgent look about you. Has something happened? Whatever it is, from the look on your face, I suspect it is no laughing matter. What say you, Link? Yeah! Huh? That was a fine display. And yet, I sense a certain anxiousness in the soul you hold, an eagerness that goes far beyond the mere desire to be wielded on the fields of battle. I do not know what has happened, but I have faith in you. Somehow I doubt you will misuse that sword. You may have it, Link. I give it freely. Take the blade with you. Since the olden days, this sword has been used to fend off evil. Its blade is infused with a desire to become strong and righteous. Be strong, Link. safe. When I saw you got dropped on this summit, I thought for sure you'd... Summit? So that bird dropped me on the top of a mountain? Well, wasn't that nice of it? Well, don't just stand there. Let's go! Time to repay our debt to that bird in full! But, miss, what about this boy? You 
know, pirates! The terror of the seas! What do we get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get, a headache. I know how you must feel with your sister having been kidnapped and all. But that doesn't really have anything to do with us, now does it? And how do you figure that? Whoa, whoa, whoa there! Just who are you? Where do you get off butting in on someone else's conversation? Please. All I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard word that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter. Whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And, unless my eyes have failed me, the young girl who was kidnapped from the island also has long ears, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why it grabbed her. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Link here who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? Is this true? Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Link's sister has made its foul nest to the north, on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. The Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where... So, what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Link a little help, now would it? to consider it. Lately, I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this Forsaken Fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but that cheap little sword. It's not brave, it's stupid. I mean, come on! Even a simple little island like this has to have something you could use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself with? Anything? Hanging the family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those days. Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while. So you'd better go say goodbye to your family while you have the chance. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. What is it, Link? Please, tell Grandma what's troubling you. And where's Arrow? Is she still playing outside with the girls? Is what you're looking for? Uh. Take it with you. <gasps> I guess it is true. Errol really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster could take such a sweet young child? <laughs> oh, Arrow!
Good luck, Link! Good luck finding Arrow! Take care of yourself! now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you're just going to get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island? As of today, <clears throat> I am your superior, Nico. Now, I promise I'll go easy on you, so you do as I say, okay? Right. Now, first off, you have to take the test all new pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. You watch everything I'm about to show you real careful-like, so you can cram it into your no-doubt mushy, swabby brain. First off, you gotta press this switch. This is the only easy part. Now, check it out. After the platforms rise up from the floor, you gotta jump on them. Okay, so I was able to jump to this first one myself. But that next one is too far, right? That's when you gotta do this! So, do you think you get how to do it? You have to swing from platform to platform and try to get to the entrance of that room over there. Here's the problem though, Swabby. The platforms only stay raised for a little while. So if you don't get there by the time they drop, you have to start over. Ha! It will probably take you at least one year before you're good enough to make it all the way here. One rough year. One tough year full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Now, give it a try. This ought to be good for a chuckle or two. <laughs> huh? What? You did it already? I... I, uh... I'm proud to have you as... as my... as my underling. I... I wonder if it's okay to just give that to him. I don't see why not. I doubt I'll get busted. All right, Swabby, I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's your reward from the great and generous Nico. Hurry and take it before someone comes. Whatever. 
There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's the Cursed Isle known as the Forsaken Fortress. There are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that long ago, it used to be the hideout of a no-good group of pirates we used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now, the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. Ah, I knew it! Look! Over there! By that window! <coughs> Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? where they've got your sister locked up. But it looks like the whole place is under really tight guard. This won't work. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near a landing there. Hmm. What do we do now? struggle. If you really want to get into a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Is everybody ready? Never you fear, kid. We're pros. We're going to launch you good. Three. another way. Alright, 
one more path to go, and you're at the entrance. Now here, I don't know, figure it out. Yeah, just take your time. I'm not impatient or anything. Welcome to Beatles End Card! If you're here, that means you must have finished watching Act 1 of Wind Waker the Movie! We here at Zelda Universe want to extend a big THANK YOU for watching the video! If you liked it, please be sure to subscribe to our channel! And, for a limited time only, if you hit the red subscribe button at the bottom of the screen, you'll be able not only to get notifications every time Zelda Universe uploads another act of the movie, but you'll also get 10 bonus points onto your Beetle Shop Ship membership card. Also, be sure to comment below on what you enjoyed most from this act. I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>